What's up crew? Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. As you can see, we are in my car, not the normal environment by any means whatsoever because we're traveling for the holidays. But nonetheless, I have to film something and get it out there for you guys because I know you look forward to it every single week. So today, we are unboxing and reviewing the Fear of God Essentials Converse Chuck 70s. Let's get started. Alright, so we have the box right here, but before we jump into today's video guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. Now as you guys know, Rose Gold and Black is a continual sponsor of the channel. They support me, they support you, therefore they support us. They support the content on this channel. Head over to rosegoldandblack.com, there will be a link for you in the description. They have some of the best jewelry and accessories on the market, and I literally wear this stuff every single day of my life. If you click on the link in the description too, everything on the website will already be discounted for you. Head over to rosegoldandblack.com. Don't miss out on the deal and get yourself some of the most high quality jewelry in the world. All right, so we've got the sneakers right here. Now, right off the bat, I do want to say that the box is not that impressive. It just says essentials. It just says Converse. It is this sort of off-white cream color. Nothing too crazy. I wasn't impressed by the box. But one thing that really freaking pissed me off was that when it came, they actually taped it shut. But this material is kind of cheap, so it actually tore part of the box apart when I went to take the tape off to open the damn box. And that kind of ticked me off. I, I wasn't too thrilled about that, but I mean, I'm not gonna resell these, so it doesn't really matter that much. So let's go ahead and open up the box, get into the sneakers. The sneakers are pretty crazy. Sorry, I think that overhead light was a little bit too much. I know my face is a little bit darker, but you can see the shoes a little bit better this way. These are the sneakers absolutely unreal when it comes to quality they are so so nice you got the cream canvas mixed with this black leather tongue the extra lace loop around the back here and the extra long laces so they can fold over the black toe cap and the cream midsole to match the canvas like these are so clean so unbelievably clean i wasn't sure how easy these were going to be to style with but they're actually very, very simple. It, it almost reminds me of the CDG Converse. Comfort wise, these are actually really, really comfortable. I've had Chucks before and I remember them not being this comfortable. I think they might've put a new uh, insole in this or something because it is way, way more comfortable than I ever remember Chucks being. So shout out to Jerry, shout out to Fear of God Paxson for doing that because it literally makes the difference and it makes me want to wear this shoe more often because I know it's not going to hurt my feet. I mean, there's really not too, too much to say about this shoe. It's very simple, which I think is really, really great. I think the simplicity of it actually makes it great because you can wear it with just about anything. It's comfortable, it's versatile, you can dress this up, you can dress it down. It really is up to you and your style preference. This could really be worn by anyone and I think that was part of Jerry's vision here was take a classic sneaker, put his spin on it, so that it could be something that everyone could wear in their own unique way. Now, since we are talking about chucks, I do want to talk about the sizing, because the sizing on these shoes is so freaking weird. It's unbelievable. Now, I went a half size down. I normally wear an 11 and a half, I got an 11, and I could have gone a full size down, to be totally honest with you. I could have gone with a 10 and a half, and it would have fit me a little bit better but I chose to go with the 11 online because I figured it was an easier size to cop on the internet. Um, but nonetheless, they still fit me. They still fit me, but I do prefer my shoes to be a little bit tighter. So if you like your shoes that way, I would suggest going a full size down in these if you're going to pick some up. All right guys, so enough of me rambling on about this shoe. Let me show you what these things look like on feet. Alright guys, and that wraps it up for today's video. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button down below. Join the crew family. We are growing every single day on YouTube, and it would be absolutely awesome if you were to join the crew. Smash this thumbs up button, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys next Friday. I'm out of here. <laughs>